And now the night everyone in the football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football, the UEFA Champions League final. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. And now the Champions League final commences. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne starts with Rodri in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. An effective challenge. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Frey in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts. Derek, they must finish here. Going well. So a corner here. Who can they pick out? Attending to his defensive chores. Um. This is Brozovic. Not into unable to retain possession. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Rodri. And in it goes! Manchester City strike first in the Champions League final. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. to get the ball rolling again it's going to be interesting to see whether or not that goal stings them into action Barella given away by City space on the flank Dzeko and it all counts for naught so a throw in here possibilities inside the box still not clear right over for now it seems can they hit on the break they need to get bodies back and throwing himself up the ball Sure, nothing came of it. 
Error by the keeper, might give them a chance. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Well, Inter, as you can see, have had most of the ball, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Now well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Martinez. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Sends it back. Oh, could be! Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Corner kick played in. Found wanting a bit with that delivery. Ball is loose. Perisic. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long in coming, surely. No space for them here. Crossing opportunity. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Matteo Damian. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Oh, great play. Well, on the final analysis, it was good defending. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Chalanoru. Really poor timing and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. Well, the card is out and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Keeping. It wasn't a bad free kick either. Skriniya. Now Brozovic. Dzeko. And Inter with acres of space out wide. Well, but tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Played in there. And up for grabs off the keeper. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. shot determined block oh it's in they're in front here now can they stay in front
Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. And the substitution will occur now. So there we have it, 2-1. Well, the pass isn't going to worry the goalkeeper. Barella. This might be ideal for the counter. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, look at this again. No real power, but great understanding of the situation. That's an excellent goal. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Ivan Perisic. Brozovic. In the right place to cut out the pass. Bernardo Silva distributing intelligently. And a goal! Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the finish is so clinical. He just rolls it past the keeper, cool as you like. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Martinez. It's with Stefan de Frey. The ball with Martinez. Rob them. Bernardo Silva. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Substitution time it is here. Barella. Now Correa. Time and the scoreline against Inter, but they're not out of this. Good bit of pressing. This could be the equaliser. Jekko, well read to put an end to that attack. Bernardo Silva, beautifully disguised ball. Can he keep his composure? Still a chance. Surely unable to put the seal on victory. Well, what a chance, Derek. That was the game right there. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass.
Foden going about his defensive business and there it is full time Manchester City Champions League winners well just look at the emotions out there joy and relief on one side despair and heartache on the other but we've got the right winners here they fully deserved it on the night for these players well it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond well they have to make the most of this don't they it's a great feat what an achievement from them well they don't need to be reminded about what comes next it's the presentation of the coveted champions league trophy well there's some tired players out there but what you can be sure of they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy they'll be going mad in the next few moments the champions league winners manchester city well this is what they wanted what a moment for these players they've worked so hard to win this trophy they've been fantastic and you can feel the emotion it's natural to reflect on this final but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign memories memories what would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters well these fans have certainly played their part haven't they they'll savor these moments they've traveled far and wide to follow their team they're loving every minute of this and why not they deserve it a performance of fire as well as ice they held their nerve when that was necessary and these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often.